hello. Now, time for my book talk for the fall of five. I'm still very upset with it. Um, with the end, and it's gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna start with that. We're gonna be skipping one, one thing, because the first and third thing on my list here, they're kind of related. Well, I have a few things that are related in here, because it was just like, ugh. So, be before I get to that, I know why this is called the Fall of Five. I know, and I I want to I want to just hit this book. It's a good book, but it's so heartbreaking. It's great, but I can't I can't stand it. So here's why I why I can't stand it. Um, eight dies. Now, I said in my last video, I didn't want eight to die. Mm. Nope. Gonna just ignore that. Ignore my feelings and just kill him. <laughs> How he dies, though. He, for, it was either nine's gonna die or eight's gonna die. And frankly, <laughs> Nine and eight. Mm -hmm. And frankly, really, eh, I, I can't stand any of them to die, honestly. And eight's death is just heartbreaking, and I can't handle it, and I'm going, I'm going to go crazy. And I was just on my Facebook. I messaged my friend uh, when 8 died, I'm like, and the reason 8 died was because 5 killed him. I'll get to that later, but I was just like, I hate 5, 8, didn't, eight shouldn't have had to die. Mm. It's just an entire, like, angry little, it was a little short little thing, but it was angry. And then I kept read, reading kept reading and I kept reading and then I finished the book and then I just post I posted to uh More Than Instruments fan girl uh Facebook group uh saying I need happy things sent to me. <laughs> I just finished a book and I just need happy things. It's like eleven and I need to go to bed. It was actually like eleven thirty but I need to, I didn't go to bed till probably like 3 a.m. because I kept thinking about it. And then the night that night I kept dreaming eight's death. Eight dying. I I just kept dreaming it. I kept dreaming it over it was like on replay in my head in my dreams. It just no. Can't deal with that. I just can't. <sighs> It's all because Five is in league with the Mogadorians. Like, come on, dude. Come on. What is with you? And I can't know. They brainwashed you. You're supposed to be a good guy. And you're not. And I, I, I want to strangle you. <laughs> You killed, you killed eight, I'm gonna strangle you. I really wanted, I really wanted to just enter the world of the book for like a minute. Get to freaking five and strangle the death out of him. I wanted to, I really wanted him to just die. <sighs> Which brings me to Marina's new legacy. So now she has like a offense uh legacy so and i even wrote this a bit later but it um i'm gonna relate this to a disney movie and i'm pretty sure you guys who have read this book again you should all have read this book oh well um that you 
assuming you have all read this book, you should know what kind of what movie I'm gonna relate it to. Marina is is the alien version of Elsa. She now has ice powers. <laughs> that's literally what she has. She has ice powers. And that's what Elsa has. So that's that's how I'm relating them, is just their powers. That's literally it. But yeah. Marina's new legacy. I loved it. Marina's new legacy is basically ice powers and she nearly kills five. And I would have been so happy if she did, but then she didn't. And I was like, you're gonna, you, you have to kill this guy sooner or later. I guess you're just going to choose later, but he has to die. He's a betrayal. He's a, he's a betrayer and he has to die. It's the end of it. And so, yeah. The Phoenix Stones. So there's... They're just objects that could lead to Lorien's survival and stuff. Um, and I haven't even gone back to the second thing, but I'll get to that when I get to a bunch of other things. The Phoenix Stones are just like these, there's these things and, and they're supposed to help bring Lorien back. Uh, John has this thing that brings the Lorien's wind, um, Marina, she has a Lorelite liquid form, um, uh, and eight, what does eight have? No eight had something, I forget, but nine has soil, so, yeah. I don't, I forgot what eight had, I forgot what he had. But it's it's nice. It's nice. And also the fact that um Fedicus Lore came to Malcolm just to tell him all this stuff and it's just like wow, great, yay. I have a bunch of questions and I'm gonna actually start off with those. The fact that my main question is will Ella betray them? Like it says in the vision that she shares with John, and they're, when they're in this comatose state, it's it's insane, and it's I just no. Mm. So will Ella betray them? Is the track is raw? Loric? Like that's even a question that John is like trying not to ask himself because he. At the end of the book, he's just like, he doesn't have time to question it, but he is going to start to question if Citrak is brought is Loric, which would make sense for his powers and no other Mogadorians having powers. Not so much his appearance, though he could be changing his appearance, like how Eight could do. Eight could change his appearance all he wanted, um, and it's just insane. And so, that was point two I made. Satrakis Ra may be Loric? Really, it's, um, and then it's just like, will Ella betray them? Is Satrakis Ra Ella's father? And that's really the only explanation for why she would be his predecessor. Uh, with that vision, she said that with her predecessor, his predecessor is supposed to be Ella, and, um, but the only explanation that should be had is that Ella is related to Satrakis Ra, so in that case he would be Loric, and, and he, he might be her father. We're, but since this isn't confirmed, we're, I guess we have to assume that Ella's father died along with all the Lorik. But remember the story we heard um, uh, from Creighton's letter? Uh, Ella, Ella's father was like this uh, really selfish, um, not at all the best Lorik. And, 
and yet he he said he'd stay behind but what if he survived what if what if he was leading the Mogadorian attack but but in secret and I know this might be getting a bit far-fetched but and now he's searching for Ella because he wants he wants her. He need he needs her, and he he just wants to be with his daughter. You never know. But then there's in the vision how Ella acted. It was just like that brought the whole question: Is will Ella betray them? Because she basically says, "Yeah, go ahead, kill six. Just. Mm. I don't know what to think anymore, but I have some, it's just, mm. really with that vision came too many questions, and then before I finished the book, I was like, why does five hasn't have an eye patch? And then continuing on, when Marina like stuck that icicle into his eye, now we know. Now we know why he has an eye patch. Haha, uh -huh, Sam and Six. Before I get to Sam and Six, I don't, I didn't, I don't think I put this in here, so I'm gonna say it now. I'm starting to trust Sarah. Starting to, not full trust, but close to full trust. It's, it's just very difficult for me to explain, but <sighs> it is uh, evident, it isn't, it is great trust that I'm starting to get with her, and I I want to trust her. I do. It's just I'm still not entirely sure about her, but I'm thinking he might be thinking about it. I'm thinking she's trustworthy, and so we're gonna go to Sam and Six relationship status thing. Not in a relationship, but they want to be. They want to be. And Sam wants, but that's the only reason they're not in a relationship is because Six doesn't know if she's going to survive, so she doesn't want to give Sam the hope that John or Four is really giving Sarah. So, also the capture the flag game. Hmm, that was that was wonderful. That was great, and it was just amazing. Um, just the fact that uh, nine transferred his wall walking powers to seven, and that made them win their win the game. It was I just love the that, and then there was Sam when he sh when he shot six by accident. It was just like. Oh shit! <laughs> and then he kept apologizing, which I thought was so cute. And uh, yes, the Sam and Six relationship thing is just—I really, I—I I think it's cute. <laughs> now, uh, Malcolm and Sam's rescue—that's like one thing right there. Malcolm, it's just beginning of the book. We we're with Sam. We're in Sam's head. And Sam's just having all these daydreams about being rescued by John or Six, but by when we're with him, it's really Six. And um, then Malcolm comes with this Mogadorian named Adam. I'll get to Adam soon. He's like um, just a little further down. Um, but this Mogadorian Adam. And is, and then he they escape and and Malcolm's just like and it was apparently during the battle and I think they mentioned that they did try and look for Sam which was okay for me it was completely okay and I was just like yes at least you tried I'm redeeming you <laughs> at least you tried. But then Sam got rescued from his father, and Adam rescued Malcolm, and it was all great and dandy, and yeah, and then, and then, um, and then Sam and Malcolm rescued John because John was being stupid. 
Um, and even though he he saw that he was gonna be, probably going to be eaten, so he just like threw himself up in flames. And it was just like, if I'm going down, I'm going down in flames. And he just stood there. And then, even though he could have done that, and then run as well, just in case he could have made it. You never know. But he just stood there. And was like... <laughs> and then, uh, Malcolm just like shot the thing in the eye, and so... That's how they saved him. Even though Sam does think that Malcolm is, um, was the one that betrayed them, it wasn't Malcolm. I, I know this for a fact. I know it for a fact. It wasn't Malcolm, it was Five. Five was actually in league with the Mogadorians, and Malcolm wasn't. Malcolm didn't know, sh didn't know this. And so, yeah. Malcolm didn't even know how to translate to Mogadorian. I'm pretty sure Five knows that. I'm pretty sure of that. It's- this entire thing is turned crazy. Oh, and yeah, so now we're at Adam. Um, Adam is a Mogadorian, uh, who has one's memories and some of one's powers. Um, they had one's body and they transferred her memories into Adam. Adam went basically rogue and and he he helped Malcolm ex escape and then he helped Sam escape and and stuff and it was just amazing. It was great and I like Adam. Now, uh I'm going to add to my theory on who Pitticus lore is. Because, and I'm adding this the cave wall to this. There was an unfamiliar boy leaning over the track is raw. Maybe, maybe, because one's memories are in Adam, maybe Adam turned into, basically turned into one. Um, and, well, one, and one could have been the reincarnation of his lore. So I'm thinking that because Adam also has some of one's powers. Adam is the one who is the reincarnation because he is basically now one and and he's just like there. He's and he kills Sutrakas I don't know if I'm right, but I am certainly hoping so. Anyways, so yeah, again, uh five needs to die. That's just a statement I put in here. Five needs to die. As you guys know already from how I've been talking through uh, this entire video, this entire really long video, Five needs to die. He just needs to die. I don't think he's going to change his mind, so let's just do that to Five. Even though it's going to cause the other lorks in pain and they uh, feel the burn, but it's going to save everyone. <laughs> also, Nine almost dying of a smart mouth. It's true. It's true. Because Nine has a smart mouth, uh, Five is going to kill him. That's really the only reason I saw that uh, Five was going to kill Nine. So, yeah. Five also actually thinking the Mogs are better and that the entire invasion had to happen. I'm just thinking, excuse me, excuse me, no, 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 no. That it didn't need to happen and they're not better, they're just not. <sighs> they're evil and if you weren't... Like, Five got caught six months after they came to Earth, and, uh, well, he was just, he has been with the Mogs ever since. Because they, they basically couldn't kill him until they killed one through four, and since they couldn't kill four, they couldn't kill Five. And I'm sure that now they would want to, but, but since they were looking for Five, they found an opportunity to find out what they're planning and find out where they are 
and find out any information and do all this other stuff. <laughs> and it's, I'm just, again, I really hate Five. Five needs to die. That's just, that's just gonna be the main thing in this video is Five needs to die. I think I, uh, ex I explained the book pretty, uh, thoroughly. Uh, Five really does need to die though. I'm sorry. If any of you have, s and I'm very sure, I'm very sure that in this book, he's going to die. Very sure. He has to die. I'm making it my goal to make him die. <laughs> I will mentally will it. Because, but yeah. So again, Adam could also be the one to slay uh, Sidracus Ra, so... Again, there's also my questions about if any of you have answers. I don't, I don't exactly want to know, but if you have an answer to the fact that, um, okay, if the answer is no to, uh, Satrakis Ra being Lorik, or Satrakis Ra being Ella's father, if the answer is no, you can tell me that in the comments. You can tell me that. But uh the Ella betraying them thing, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna read that for myself if that actually happens. <sighs> because we don't need another betrayal, please. <laughs> it's all an emotional roller coaster and I'm going to die <laughs> if it if it continues. It took a lot for me just to go to sleep. <laughs> Ah, uh, the pictures I was sent for all Mortal Instruments pictures, and they were great. Uh, though someone uh, asked me, what is love to you? My answer was love is a bitter, cold thing that only, that only breaks your heart. As you can tell, I was very bitter. This is probably my longest book talk. Uh... Because I think my City of Bones is even shorter than this. Right now, without editing, this is now 25 minutes, 32 seconds, 33, 34, and you get the, the gist, but yeah. Um, it's very long book talk. I, and I wished I could have kept it shorter, but there was simply too much. Too much to talk about, and... I I I I actually felt like I was gonna die. This is actually probably the fastest I've read a book. Uh, is like less than just a little over twenty four hours. Really, and I'm just I'm I'm gonna be so upset if nine dies or John or six. I'm gonna be upset if anyone else dies, except for Sidracus Ra and five. If anyone else dies other than those two, oh, and any Mogadorian except for Adam. Adam's the exception. They all must die. Please. 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 Anyways, this is my book talk for the fall of five. And, and I hope you enjoyed.